Hi, this is KB2MXV, and I just got my phone yesterday, and I got the sidecar this morning, and I'm throwing together a little video uh, just to help out some of the new people like myself on how to program your first five buttons on the phone. Well, not your first. The first one gets uh, done for you. And the sidecar. And I made a little Excel utility that I want to share with you guys, and uh, if it helps anybody out, that would be great. So this is where we're going to start with my phone. This is what it looks like. So one of the first things you want to do once your phone is connected to the internet uh, is get your IP address because you're going to need to know that IP address to access your phone via the web browser. So once your phone's online, you can just hit the, uh, the menu button, which is this here. And what you want to do is you want to scroll down all the way to... Let's see, I believe it's status, network status. And here you can see, uh, for me, my IP address is 192.168.1.25. And that's what we're going to put into the browser to access my phone. Okay, so on the left, I've accessed my phone. And let me just back out of this a little bit, just so I could... Uh, Kind of show you what it's doing here and the first thing you want to do is once you log in you want to go to admin logon and you want to click on advanced okay so you want to make sure you're on advanced now when you do set up uh, your first five lines uh, you're going to make sure you're on voice and phone you follow the mouse here and here you're going to see line one key, which you don't want to touch because that's your Hamshack hotline uh, personal line. And here we have line key two. And here in extended function, this is where you're going to put your, your code per se in. And then you have line three, line four, and line five. Now I'm not going to use line five because line five is already set up for my for my iPhone and just uh, let me just take your attention here to this blue phone setting I was having a problem with my iPhone connecting uh, what I had to do was in here I had to change this from phone to both and uh, I just put a short name there for my iPhone but pin code I deleted what was there and I made the pin code four zeros one two three four after I did that, I was able to sync my phone up with my, my cell phone up with the, with the regular phone. Okay, so on the right of the screen, uh, this was, this is an Excel sheet uh, that I found online that I manipulated uh, to what works for me. And this Excel sheet has uh, three tabs at the bottom. The first tab is SPA 525G, and that's going to configure your first five lines for you. Uh, the second one is a sidecar, and this is going to program up your sidecar stuff for you. And the third tab is going to sh show you how uh, you can program one of your sidecar buttons to make an outside call using your cell phone if you have that option uh, working. So what, what I set up here was, so again, we're not doing anything with line one. So we have line two, three, and four, and I'm not going to use line five uh, because I have the Bluetooth set up. So the instructions say, enter Hamshack hotline number and name. Do not change line five if you have your cell phone linked up to Bluetooth. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... I'm just going to put in any number here, uh, 5100, uh, here I'll put 5600, and for the names, I'm just going to, I'll just leave them as public. And if you notice here on, on the right, the, this is going to be the, the uh, cells that you're going to copy into the extended functions. Uh, and if you notice, uh, Line two's, 
line is 5100 I'm dialing but if you look at the text it still says 300 you notice that here and here so what happens is once you click this purple button you're gonna see the fields change so what I want to do is I'm gonna put this back to 300 and uh, line public is line 2 is I want to say 302 I believe okay so once you have these names populated like you want you're gonna click the purple button now line 2 is set up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click into this box I'm gonna right click and hit copy I'm gonna go to line key 2 right because number 1 is your personal I'm gonna go to line key 2 and in here I'm gonna paste control V the information for line 2 I'm gonna go back here I'm gonna click on the second box I'm gonna right click and go copy and I'm gonna paste that into line 3 and then I'm going to take line 4, I'm going to copy, and I'm going to paste that into line 4. Now you want to leave the extension set as disabled, okay, keep them all disabled, and sh share call appearance, I have them all set up on private, and it seems to be working fine. So once you have this information in, you want to scroll down to the bottom of the page, and you want to hit submit all changes so let me uh, get my other camera ready on my phone because I want to show you what happens to the phone when you hit submit all changes so here I'm gonna hit the button submit all changes and you're gonna see the phones doing a little reboot now remember lines two, three, and four had nothing on them? Public one, public two, public three. That's what we just programmed. And they're all green. So what's that? That's telling you that there's no uh, activity right now uh, on those lines. And you can see if I just press uh, public one. Okay, and then we could just hang up. Okay, so that was that simple. You were able to add lines two, three, four for me and five for you if you don't have the Bluetooth set up. So now let's go over to the sidecar and see what we could do with the sidecar. So we want to click over to the sidecar, second tab at the bottom. And what you're going to notice here. Okay, it looks like a lot of stuff, but don't worry. I made it as simple as I could for you. Uh, on the phone side, you want to go, again, make sure you're in advanced, and you want to go to voice, but now you want to go to ATT console, which stands for attendant console. And what's going to happen is, in unit one, because I have one sidecar, all these keys, 32 keys, the first 32 keys, that's what's showing you on the right and after you populate this you'll be able to print this form and it'll print out um, just the sidecar paper so you can put that right in so how does this this second tab work so what we're going to do is and, and I'll just start uh, I'll start with number two so let's say button number two right coming down the right hand side we want this to call, and I'm just guessing here. Uh, well, let me, let, let me look at uh, some of the numbers here. So we have a phone book here. And so the first one is John K1WYZ, and he's 407, right? K1WYZ. So here we're going to type K1WIZ. And his number was, he was number 407. So I'm just going to put 407, okay, for, for key two. Now, like I said, if you look at the data for key two, it doesn't match what's here, 
but it will after we press the calculate column F button. And let's go add one more person and you'll get the idea. Um, we'll just do two buttons for now and let's go down the list and let's go do, um, you know what, let's do Mason. So here we're going to do Mason and his extension is 5816. Okay, so that's all we did, 5816 button one and 407 on button two. Now, when I hit this calculate column F, watch what's gonna happen to, the, to demo one, demo two, and line one and two, or, or extension one and two. That's all gonna change. So you're gonna hit calculate column F, and here's the new data. So what we wanna do, is we want to click for button one, highlight it. We're going to go copy and over on the interface side on the unit one, key one, I'm going to type in, I'm going to paste in what I just copied. And now I'm going to go grab the data for the second column or for the second button, I'm going to right click and go copy and I'm gonna put that on button two. Okay, so button one is Mason, button two is K1WIZ. And again, you're gonna hit the submit all changes. And let's take a look at the phone and see what's gonna happen when I do that. So I'm gonna overwrite my button one that we have already. So here I'm going to hit submit all changes. All right. And the phone's doing a little reboot. And lines one and two should uh, light up on the sidecar. Okay. So now they're showing uh, they're lined up. Now I can just press one of these buttons. And that's Dylan Mason. Okay. And it flashes red when you're using that line or using that dial. Okay, so we'll just hang up from there. Okay, so we got the five buttons on the phone programmed. We just programmed two buttons on the, the sidecar. And uh, let me show you one more function. So staying back on voice and uh, attendant console here, the third uh, tab here, dial outside line. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put in an outside line number. So let me get somebody and let's go uh, ham radio outlet. Okay. So the name, we're going to say HRO Delaware, and their phone number is 302-332-7092. And what's going to happen here, once you're done, you're going to hit the button, click to create extended function, and when you hit that, there's your text that you want to copy. So I'm going to take this text. I'm going to copy it just like we did on the previous page and I'll just put this on button 32 at the bottom here. Right click and we're going to hit paste. And again, we're going to do a submit all changes. Okay, changes were submitted. You see the side call lights went off. The phone's doing a little reboot of itself. And now the bottom right is going to be my outside line. Okay. Now, when I use the bottom line, it stays green. I'm trying to figure out how to get this button to turn red when I use it. Okay. So here, uh, 
you can hit this bottom button and it'll dial out for me on line five and you'll be making an outside line call. So coming back over to the sidecar, uh, so we used Mason's name and number in here and we got K1WIZ in here and uh, on button 32 uh, we did uh, HRO Delaware. Now I'm not worried about uh, this calculation for button 32 when I'm putting in here uh, because we've already programmed that for an outside line so we already took this. So what happens here is we're going to hit file print and you can see it, it's only going to print uh, the card here. So you can print that right out and put that right on your phone. All right, I hope this helped a few people. Uh, this is KB2MXV.